where my voice comes from is my real life, right? So this is what I've experienced. I never spent too much time on social media before four years ago, honestly, in 2020, when I was laid off from my job because of COVID. I had more time on my hands. I downloaded TikTok and it was like a whole new world of this hatred that I was seeing in the dating world against men. And I just would watch these videos and it's like, that's wrong. That's not right. Like, that's not what I've experienced. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a special episode. It is another bonus episode because I usually do not release on Fridays. But today is a special one because it is actually the 50th episode. And so I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I was about to do a video on more double standards, but decided I would save that for next week and have this special 50th episode in which I almost have 450,000 followers now on YouTube. It might be there by the time I actually post this video. But I just want to say thank you guys for, for following me, for enjoying my content, for giving me feedback. I love it when you guys leave me a comment, even when you disagree with me. Um, I think that really helps grow like my own personal perspective on men. And I know that I generalize a lot because you got it to some degree, you know, when you make content like this. But I understand, I have a full understanding that there's going to be outliers within that generalization. Please keep giving me your perspectives, your opinions. So before we get started, I wanna do one special thing that some of you, speaking of comments, some of you have been telling me to do, that I, I need to do, and it has to do with my setup here. And no, it's not to close my closet doors, it's something else. Some of you may have also noticed this. Yes, it does still work. It's an in-home intercom. I have an old house and <laughs> every room has one of these. I do not actually utilize it, but it is fully functioning. Gosh, I feel like we could say that about a lot of things. Okay, anyways, well, if you haven't guessed yet, does that look better? <laughs> I can't tell. I have numbers running on my thing, so. Hopefully that helps you guys focus on what I'm talking about <laughs> rather than that annoying crooked picture. Guys, that is not the most special thing in this video today. I actually will be right back. This is the most special thing in today's video. <laughs> Baby girl is gonna join us. Oh, she sees herself. For you guys that have been asking, this is actually the first time you've been in a long format YouTube video. She's been in some shorts videos, but not long format. We're going to see if I can actually hold you like this. Hi, she says hi. She says hi. Yeah. Holy cow. You're not supposed to do that the first time I introduce you. Be a lady. <laughs> oh, she's just in heaven right now because there's so many mirrors and then she can see herself in this video as well. Other than seeing this cutie, I'm gonna answer five of the most common questions that I get. <laughs> I don't know, girl. I don't know if we're going to make it. Hopefully that was enough baby content for you guys. On to the bulk of what this video is about, and that is me answering some of the most common questions that I get asked. Starting with, why do I slide into my videos? Obviously, I don't slide into these long format videos because, I don't know, I think my hand would actually get tired by holding my phone up for that long. Um, and editing would be more tricky compared to filming on a computer. The slide evolved. Okay, so the slide started off with me just stepping into like my mirror. And the mirror shot started because 
you know, that was kind of a thing on TikTok where if, you know, you were kind of talking to the audience or talking to yourself about something that you were passionate about, it would be through the mirror into the phone. And there's just something about that. Like I sometimes feel odd just talking to the camera. Even when I'm talking to this camera, I actually have my vanity mirror behind it. And I find myself looking at it quite often because I don't know, it, it feels like you're almost talking to yourself, giving yourself advice. And it's easier to be like more passionate about it compared to talking to really nobody and talking to a screen. So I have this huge mirror in my room that I've had for years. And it's actually from Ikea, shout out to Ikea. And that was kind of like the best lit spot in my house, especially compared to my bathroom. My bathroom is as old as this, this intercom. So no one wants to see that. <laughs> um, so I started off in my bedroom using the mirror. I do have all hardwood floors throughout the house. And so what started off being stepping into the shot, it just became natural and easy for me to slide into the shot. Because the other thing is that I live in a cold area. Like, so I live in New York, upstate New York, and I wear socks, okay? Like my feet would be freezing year round if I didn't. The other part of this is that I developed my shot with my phone by like swooping up and swooping down in the initial slide. And that is because at the time, TikTok had a big thing about like looped videos. I mean, it still does. That's how the FYP plays is that it will loop the video until you swipe up. And I liked it. It was more pleasing to the eye than to just like have a cut screen at the end of the video and then to start anew. Talking to the mirror actually felt easier than talking to a camera because talking to the camera is nothing that I've ever done, guys, like other than starting four years ago into my phone camera. Um, I am not a TV personality. I have no experience on film, even on my local news or anything. <laughs> um, I think that I don't know. I don't think that I've done anything on camera other than being filmed probably for one of my presentations in college. Question number two, why do I stand up for men? All right, this is very, very commonly asked of me. Um, and I never feel like it's coming from like a bad place. I really always feel like it's coming from a place of curiosity. And I will give you my straight up answer is because I've had good experience with men in general in my life. Um, I have an amazing father. I have two older brothers and uh, the one that's two years older than me, we fought like cats and dogs when we were younger. Uh, but I have the utmost respect for my older siblings and they are very much good men. They are family men. They have I don't know I watched them I didn't really watch them date honestly like I just watched them choose a woman and date her pursue her and marry her and have kids with her I never witnessed any amount of bad intentions from the men in my immediate family and the men even in my extended family to be honest the other huge part is that I have a son. I have a seven-year-old boy, and I also have an older daughter, and then a younger daughter, and then also a stepdaughter. Uh, we'll get into that. I'm going to get into that with another question that I get asked. But my, for my son, like, he, he's like, oh, he's like the sensitive but tough kid. Like, he's that balance of having, like, really strong emotions and I, I love that and I support that in him all the time. I just, he's such a sweet boy, but he also like wants to be tough, you know, and strong. And I just think about the future for him. You know, I, I think about how I would want a woman to treat him because he's so internally good. I mean, every child is born with such good inside of them. 
And I hate when that perspective cannot be taken for children in general, but like, especially boys and men, like, where does that switch? Because I think that in society, we view these like, boys are amazing, they're wonderful. And then bam, like, what is it like 16 years of age or 18 years of age? And it's just it flips on them. And I can't imagine like putting myself in their shoes and experiencing that sort of switch from how I see people are viewing me. The other part of this is that where my voice comes from is my real life, right? So this is what I've experienced. I never spent too much time on social media before four years ago, honestly, in 2020, when I was laid off from my job because of COVID. I had more time on my hands. I downloaded TikTok and it was like a whole new world of this hatred that I was seeing in the dating world against men. And I just would watch these videos and it's like, that's wrong. That's not right. Like, that's not what I've experienced. And so I really just wanted to give that perspective of voice. And that's what made me really start some of my really basic like five to 10 minute videos. And it obviously hit a nerve with a lot of men and women. A lot of men are not allowed to defend themselves on social media, like they just get ripped apart. So I think a woman giving that message somehow was a little bit more well received. And I got through some of the what happens to men a lot of times on especially TikTok where, you know, you end up saying some things and you're just like banned, you know, you're, you get reported more easily. I went through my fair share. I have gone through my fair share of getting reported, but somehow have made it through. And I do think that that has to do with me being a woman, which is just another bias, right? We could talk about that double standard. So the other little little piece is that like I generally like to be helpful to people. I went into the medical field after college and that is because I naturally like to help people. Like I get a lot from that. I was never somebody that chased money. Like if I wanted to have done that, I would have gone and been a lawyer, honestly. I'm glad that I didn't like that's not where I felt like I could have gotten like life satisfaction from I went into the medical field and then well what happened that leads to question number three what do I do for work I am a full-time content creator now I have been for about two and a half years and before that I was a full-time physical therapist I have my doctorate degree in physical therapy that I received back down in Virginia when I used to live there I loved what I did right up until I stopped doing what I did. And really, it just came to the point where I was doing both things at once. I was doing content creation as much as I could. I was full-time physical therapy working. I was also taking care of my, at the time, two children. And it became too overwhelming. Like I had to drop something and I did not want to drop content creation. I actually wanted to do more. I was saying no to a lot of things. And that was really when my TikTok was taking off. So I made the decision. I was making like about the same income, but content creation gave me more flexibility, obviously, as a mom. So I went in that direction, guys. And so now I'm actually more of a full-time mom while doing the content creation part-time. I've done a few different things. I've uh, done like big time sponsorships that like took a lot of my time. I've done a podcast that took a lot of my time over the last three years. And I've said like no really to almost any podcast. That's why I'm not on podcast guys at this time. It's just because I can't travel and um, I'm, I'm just really more of a full-time mom doing this, doing this content creation on the side. I hope you guys are not getting bored by this. I don't, I don't know if you guys sense this, but I don't like talking about myself that much. (laughs) So let's, let's keep number four short. This is a short one, actually. How old am I? I just turned 38. There's your answer. Just short, sweet, and simple. 
<laughs> Leading to number five. A very common question that I get is, am I single? I don't do like a lot of family content. So obviously that's why I get this question. And I am obviously not. I am actually engaged and with four children. Like I mentioned, we are a blended family. So I have two from a prior marriage and I have a stepdaughter. Um, and then I have my newest addition that you guys just met. So that is a very busy, busy family life. And no, I'm not single. There you go. That's it. It's, I don't know if you guys want elaboration on my on my history. Some of you guys may know, but I realized that like I used to talk about that a lot more on TikTok because when I got on TikTok, it was actually when I had been separated and I was going through my divorce. So I don't know if you guys want to know more about that. I'm willing to share it with just one minor detail that I, I might not talk about much. And that's in order to protect my two kiddos, my oldest ones. But if you guys want to hear more of that, leave a comment and maybe we'll do that. Maybe on like the hundredth episode. Maybe. Maybe I won't make you wait that long. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I will see you next week. Double standards probably next week. <laughs>